No, God, please, no, 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 no! In this video, we're gonna talk about the four main reasons that you might get the message in Premiere Pro, how to avoid this, and most importantly, how to fix it. When you import your videos to Premiere Pro, it doesn't copy them in, it creates a file path to the place on your computer where the file is located. If that file path is broken or changed in any way, then Premiere gets confused as it can no longer locate your files. Now let's get to the four main reasons why your media might be offline. Number one, you renamed the clip or you renamed a folder that the clip was in, ruining its file path. So let's take a look at what renaming does. So right here I have this one clip, it's called running 27539. And if I go to my files, I can see it right here. But if I change that now to let's just say running guy, and then go back to Premiere, you can see that that message pops up and we get this media offline message, meaning that Premiere can't find it anymore because it used to be called running 27539 and now it's named something different. If we look over here in your files, it'll look like this. It'll be this like question mark now right beside the name of the file, the original file. And if we go cancel here, you'll see that this, the file within your sequence or timeline will kind of turn red like this. So then if you just click on it and then right click on it and then go down to link media, that same link media menu will come up. And then all we have to do is go to locate right here and find the file within your folders here. So let's say it was in a different folder, then I would just go to the folder I'm working on. So right now I know I'm working in this media offline folder. My footage is in my, if I collapse this down, in my media offline footage folder. And I know that that one was in activity. So if I click on that, I can see that running guy is right here. I click on it and then click okay. And then that will relink the media back together. Yeah! But let me also show you what happens when you rename an entire folder. So all this footage here is in this one folder called Peyton. So if I go to that folder and rename it to Peyton2, let's say, and then go back to Premiere, you'll notice the exact same link media menu pops up with this media offline message here. And then in this case, all we have to do is click on one of them, go to locate media, and then find it. So this is that Peyton2 folder. This is the one that I'm looking for. It's listed right up here. And we're just gonna repair the file path. So if this is the one, I just have to double click on it. And then not only will Premiere relink that clip, but it'll also relink all other missing files that have the same file path as well. So the other ones that are in the same folder. Oh. Nice. And just so you know, there are a couple search tools in here to help you find your clips if you need as well. So up here is a search bar as normal, so green screen is what I'm gonna search because that's what I'm missing up here. But if you notice, because I'm not in the folder that the clip is in, it's not gonna show me anything. So you gotta make sure, I'm gonna do this little drop down here. You still have to make sure that you're in the folder that you think the clip is in. So I think it's in this video cutaways and then you can see everything shows up. So I gotta type it again, green screen, and now it narrows it down to less clips. So I can go through and try and match this with each of the clips, or there's another one that can narrow it down even more. If you click this right here, display only exact name matches, and that'll narrow it down to one, and then just click on it and click okay, and you're good to go. Number two, you move the clip or its folder to a new location. So that might just be to a new folder or on a completely separate drive. So if we take a look at this footage right here, that's all from this animals folder, which I have right here, but then if I move this animals folder, so if I take this and move it to, let's say my desktop, then go back to Premiere, you'll see the exact same thing happen, but you saw there locating media. And since we've already done the locating media for something else, you see it just did it completely on its own and found all of these clips automatically. Oh, that's nice. Now, obviously, if it doesn't relink like it did right there, then you'll just have to go through the same steps we did last time by right-clicking, go to link media, and then locating your footage. Number three, you are editing right off the SD card or on an external drive and have now unplugged the drive from the computer. For example, this clip right here, I'm editing right off of an SD card. So if I take the SD card out of the computer, 
you'll notice that it might not react right away. But if I go to exit out, so I'm going to close this project and then try and open it back up, you'll notice that now Premiere can't find it and we'll get that same link media window. Now this time we can't just go and locate it because the SD card is not in the computer anymore. So first you have to put the SD card back into the computer like this and then go to locate, then do the exact same thing. So find your clip. So in this case, it's 26104. So I'm just gonna slide down here and click OK and it should relink your media. But as you can see, sometimes Premiere doesn't like relinking off of an SD card. So now my whole Premiere is just crashed right now. Oh wow, thank, thank you so much. much. So the better way to do it is actually to close your project first, then put the SD card or drive back into the computer, open your project back up, and your media will be automatically linked back again. Number four, you have actually deleted your footage from the computer. In this scenario, your footage is gone. Why did you do that? Why? So if you think you've accidentally deleted your footage, then the only way to fix that is to retransfer your footage back onto the computer or external drive that you edit off of and then relink the media. That is, if you still have the footage somewhere else. So in the end, the only real way to avoid the dreaded media offline message is to make sure you organize and name your footage properly before importing everything into Premiere Pro. And then make sure you don't break the file path in any way by renaming things, moving things, removing drives, or deleting your footage. Why? If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you next time.